Issue resolved. Currently, I have done a litany of things. I have taken off the fuel pressure sensor. I meant to say oil pressure sensor. So right down here is the oil pressure sensor. And normally, oil pressure sensors have one prong. This one has three. And the reasons for that are the middle prong is for the oil pressure and the side two are a switch that connects the fuel pump um, on. So if there's no pressure, the fuel pump will shut off. So I've tested that and I bypassed the oil pressure sensor and then um, that didn't do anything while the car ran. So now I'm going to take this of 10 amp fuse, I'm going to wire the battery to, well, I'll just show you. Supposedly when I plug in with the car off and I plug into G then the fuel pump should start. So the fuel pump is running. A fuel pump. So the fuel pump ran and it ran at 7 psi and I bypassed it there. So it's got to be the ECU that's shutting me down. And why would it do that? So I've done some studying about the fuel pump system here and I thought I might show you what I've learned. So what I think I need to do is trace what's happening. So I'm going to do this. This is the connection. We have orange, red, green, blue, two red. This is battery, and now I'm going to trace, so I need a battery. So let's maybe make a battery like here. Orange to battery. Okay, now I'm going to find where, you know that G in the cab came from? I'm going to find where that came from. Okay, so now we want to trace this. No, I think this blue one right here, the blue wire, I think runs to the G. So I need to write on here. Um, how are we going to do this? We know we have 10 amps in the fuel pump. 10 amp fuse. And then that goes to the fuel pump. How about that? Fuel pump. So now I need to figure out We'll put a lead here. I'm gonna do it from in the car. So let me figure out how to stick that in the car. So we put this on, that's on. So now let's touch this blue wire. It's kind of black, isn't it? Maybe that's a ground. That's a black wire, not blue. So though. Orange goes to power. Then that's, is that pink? Looks red. Okay, so that goes to the car. Red, oh, now I need the G. So the connector in the car, let's put it here. Something like direct link or something. So we'll put that one there. So now what? Oh, we also have the fuel or the oil pressure sender. So let's maybe put that. What is this, the relay? Oh, and then, so this is the oil sensor and then we'll put the computer or ECM, whatever it is. So we put the computer there. The oil has an orange and a red. Now, I believe 
a couple of things. I think that this orange should go to the battery. Red is on this side, so let's stick a red one there. Oil sensor has red and orange. Oh, you know what? If that's ground, then I should be able to, if that black one's ground, shouldn't I be able to pick up 20 volts? Let's see. I should be able to pick up 20 volts right here then, right? Ah, look at that. Well, that has to be a ground. So that black, the black, we're gonna put the black out this side and ground it. So my guess is that red connects to the two red. This orange should go to the battery then. So is it not connected anymore? Well, what did I do with it? Man, it makes me feel like that's not in there very well. It goes to the ECU. So I need to maybe come out. Maybe I'll come out this side like this. Still, nothing goes to the fuel pump. Well, I know the I know that the this does. Oh, that means by default, this goes to the fuel pump. Because there's two red wires here. And I just don't know about the orange on the oil pump. So remember, so last night I fed this, the connector in there, 12 volts and it ran through the relay and it must be connected to that. So with that said, I should be able to run with the car off, run 12 volts positive to right here, which is this junction right there with two wires. See how there's two red wires? I should be able to run, well that's getting, that's getting power, right? So I think I should be able to do the same thing and run 12 volts right to there with the car off and the fuel pump should run. Time to get my Bill Nye exploration on. Don't get electrocuted. And I will try this. Oh, look at that. Look at what happens when I do that. Watch the fuel pump, baby. See the fuel pump? When I do that. Well, that theory tested true. So my oil, this, if I had a connection right there to the battery and then the oil pressure filled up, then it would run. So my connection with that orange is not good. So that that uh, oil pressure sensor could be bad, but it's most likely this plug that's bad. And I gotta figure out why. And I am afraid when I got in this mess, I might have damaged it. So I unhooked the battery now. Things aren't gonna arc in my face. Now I just need to dig everything out. My belief is that this orange wire, which is the orange wire that hooks to the oil pressure um, sender. My belief is that that hooks to the battery. But when I go to probe it here, it's not, it's not getting any signal. So what I've done is I've gone down the wire a little bit. Right here I spliced it so the copper's showing. 
and I'm going to test it to see if it's getting a battery reading. So it's getting a battery reading, which will mean the connection is bad, and I probably pulled the connection when I removed the engine because I, you know, twisted things. There were some diagrams, but they weren't in color, and they're not like super great. That's why I was guessing that. Oh, whoops. So my theory is what I need to do is, is um, hook in, splice in a new wire on that oil pressure sensor right there. My educated guess is that the fuel pressure, uh, the fuel pump will run when the engine's running. Okay, got that all together. Fairly sketchy. All right, if everything rings true, the fuel gauge will move. Let's zoom in on that baby. And I don't think I'll be able to run it too long because my fuel gauge leaks. Let's check it out. Look at that. Look at that. We've got a runner, baby. Issue resolved. the fix. I also got a uh, Edelbrock for this. This is an Edelbrock performer intake and this Holly's having problems on the back fitting. So I'm going to be swapping this out to an Edelbrock. Save this for a later engine. Before I burn it down, the end. <laughs>